So you want to get creative with your videos using time lapses in Final Cut Pro. Time lapses are a great way to show the passage of time, perhaps a change in the environment, or some action happening with a person or a group of people. I'm going to show you a quick way to change your settings in your camera, shoot that, and how to edit it real easy in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. I'm shooting on an A7 IV Sony camera. And for Sony, you want to go to your menu, under shooting, all the way down to drive mode and select interval shoot function. Under interval shooting, turn that on. Under shooting start time, I like three seconds. It's basically a countdown timer. Under shooting interval, I like three seconds in between each shot. And then number of shots, I like 200. And if you look down here, it tells you how long the shooting time will be. I leave this alone. And then you basically click your shutter button and your time-lapse photo shooting begins three seconds in between each shot. So hopefully you've loaded all of your photos in Final Cut Pro. I've loaded mine here where it says time lapse. Now I want to go to my workspace and hit Command A and highlight all of the photos from my time lapse. These tend to be lengthy. Now drag and drop into the timeline. Hit OK. And I personally like the shortcut Shift Z. It fills the timeline and you can see all of the clips that you have for your video here. Then hit Control D, and this allows you to change the length of time for each clip. I want it to be one second, so hit one on your keyboard. I like to hit Shift Z again to fill the timeline. And it's as easy as that. Hit spacebar, and you have edited your time-lapse video. I hope you enjoyed the swift tip today on editing time lapses in Final Cut Pro. Please like and subscribe so I can keep making videos like these for our creative community. And remember, Shy's the Limit is where we stay creative at work and in our passion projects. I'll see you next time.